Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO Star Wars T-16 Skyhopper. This is set number 75081, 247 pieces, two minifigures. We have the Skyhopper Pilot, and we have a Tusken Raider. This is uh, two years old, this came out in 2015. It is uh, 2017 as of recording this video. So, it's been sitting in my closet for a little bit. I don't think I got it until last year, so it's not not like I've had it too long. But either way, I figured it's time to build it. So cut the seals open, angle this down. And let's see what we have in here. So we have. For a relatively small set, we have three numbered bags. There's bag one, two, and three. Um, and we have a sticker sheet. It's a medium-sized sticker sheet, but you can see it's folded. Not quite bent, but it rolled a little bit. Our instruction book has been practically bent, so I'm going to reverse bend it to kind of get it to lay flat on the table. Bust open bag number one. Not quite sure why they gave us. I figured with 247 pieces it would be either two bags or even one bag for that matter. But they got to keep it easy for everyone to build. So, start with our Skyhopper pilot. Dark red outfit. You can see it's got the straps painted on the torso. You can see it's strapped around the back. He has a printed mask on his eyes with the chin strap. And then on the opposite side, it's just the chin strap. So when he has his helmet on, that I just dropped on the floor. I'm having struggles with dropping stuff lately. Okay. Try that again. When he has his helmet on, you can see that's the unmasked version. And this one has the, the mask on. I'm gonna leave the mask on. I like that one better. It fits better with the helmet. You know, if he had a, a hat or something that he would wear without the helmet, this would kind of make sense. But I think it looks better with that on. And then he has this little micro blaster when he's not in the Skyhopper. Okay. So that is our first minifigure, the only minifigure out of this bag. So we'll have to wait until bag two or three to build our second and final minifigure. So we're beginning the build of the actual Skyhopper now. Start with a bunch of plates. Some trans clear one by one plates. Next is four of these plates with a little click hinge knob on it. Two wedge plates. Now we have two Technic bricks with an axle hole. Then we have this Technic frame. Go on top of everything. Okay, we have two wedge bricks. Four of these one by one 
bricks with a stud on the end, or the stud on the side. They will each get a white cone brick on that exposed stud. Turn this upside down, a couple inverted slopes. It's one by three bricks. Take this smaller rectangular frame piece. We insert these friction pins with a axle hole on it, but we don't push it all the way through. We're gonna leave it sticking out just a bit. This will go right here. Two more inverted slopes. With two one by three bricks. That completes bag number one. Like I said, not very many pieces. We do have one extra piece, a clear one by one plate. Let's go ahead and move on to bag number two. All right, we have our bag two parts dumped out. We're gonna continue on with this piece. We have a couple of these wedge sloped bricks. There and right there. And then two cheese slopes. Move that to the side. Now we're gonna build our big vertical wing. It's kind of the, the main element of this um, fighter, I guess you would call it. So we're stacking these one by one pieces. long Technic lift arm that goes there. Now we have an assortment of friction pins. A couple more lift arms. One more friction pin there. Okay, this is interesting. We have these hinged plate pieces. Oops, not there, right here. So those both go like that. We have these two thin lift arms. One there and one there. Two more friction pins, it's the three long variety, and another Technic lift arm there. Okay, move that to the side. Plate for the one by one Technic bricks. Two, three long friction pins. So the bulk of parts on this bag are a lot of Technic pieces and all of these one by one. Um, Technic bricks with a little pinhole in it. Okay. Move that to the side. So we're building all these little modules. So we'll probably put together all at the end. Another sloped brick there. Have a headlight brick down here where they Cheese slope, like that. This P 
piece goes there. Bring this over. That piece will go here. And then we have this brick. There's two pieces there. There, and then this piece will slide all the way through. It's not connecting to anything just yet. Let's see. We're going to put a 1x4 and a 1x1 and a red slope. We have this sloped piece. One by four, one by one. Top that off with a tile. Okay, so down here, I have two of these friction pins with the studs on the end, and then two regular black friction pins. Move that to the side. Two by three plate with some white jumper tiles. Then we have two of these one by one plates. Two one by one plates, a one by one Technic brick, another one by one plate, and a friction pin. Three long friction pin in there. Another slope. Another one by one. Three long axle, and then this piece will go there. All right, first sticker. This is a, looks like a control panel for the cockpit area. Over there. And this piece connects here. We have a sticker that goes on this one. We have two stickers that are identical. The thin, long sticker. Looks like that looks good. It simply goes there. We have a red stripe. This will go here just to help blend in. Oops, I'm gonna move this ever so slightly, see if I can get that. You're trying to blend in this stripe. Repeat it for the other side. Okay.
sticker on the tile. It doesn't matter which way you put it because you can turn the tile either way. So it looks like this is the way it goes on the vertical wing. We have a cone shape right there. We bring our main piece over. This will attach here. We have this axle, it'll slide all the way through, interlock that wing. The axle's basically sliding through those Technic bricks that have the axle hole. All right, that completes. Bag number two. So, looking good so far. Let's go ahead and move on to our third and final bag right now. All right, we have everything dumped out for our final bag. We have our last minifigure. It's the Tuscan Raider. He has printed legs, torso, and then this unique headpiece. Does have a kind of like a melee weapon. So that's his little stick they can use to hit people with. So that is our last minifigure. Kind of a goofy looking alien creature. That weird head and all the little spikes sticking out. For some reason, tape wrapped around his head. Very mysterious figure. Or character, I guess, from the Star Wars universe. Okay, so we'll bring this back over. We have a few more little details to add to the vertical wing before we start the other two wings. Have those studs there. And we have a crate with two by two tile on it. That will go right there. Next is this wedge plate. Put a few Technic plates on it that have the vertical. Pins that will go right there. Trans pink dish with a blue stud. Go right here. So I guess that's our little exhaust port, the engine. Okay, so now let's begin the build of one of the little wing pieces. the underside of it. Turn it over. Put some greebling on here. A tile. Slotted tile. We have one of these trans smoke little uh, flag pieces that has the clips. It's gonna get a sticker. Start with this sticker here. This will clip on a little bar shape. Bring this over and that actually clips on there. Fold it up where it's hinged on that Technic brick. We have the next sticker. 
looks like some sort of dragon creature. That'll go there. Okay, so that's our first little side panel. So now we're gonna build the other one. It should be very similar, just the opposite hand version of it. with a sticker. Go there. That'll clip on there. That'll clip on there. All right, last sticker time. It's, of course, the one that's rolled and bent a little bit and once we stick it on it holds its shape pretty flat go there you can see both of those fall down and create the windscreen like that so you can open it up and fold them up to access the driver's compartment and the storage behind the driver's compartment. All right, so next is, I guess one of the wings, or actually I'm not quite sure what this is. This looks like a portion underneath the vehicle. We have a couple Technic bricks and then two round two by two bricks. Technic plate and two brackets. Friction pin back there. Two more Technic bricks and then a four long axle go all the way through here. Dark tan tile or a dark, dark gray tile. Okay. So slide this up under here. Make sure those two red pieces are pushed back. It should line up with those friction pins and or the Technic bricks in there. It looks like it does. Everything's good there. Another piece that I dropped. This is a little blaster gun. Goes on the underside of the vehicle. Okay, so we have this big wedge plate. We're gonna build a few little pieces on it. Flick fire missile, and this piece simply snaps on there. Do 
through the other side. thing we have are these two spring-loaded flick fire missiles. And that is it. We're done with the T-16 Skyhopper set. It's a pretty cool little flying vehicle. does have a little desert rat in case you want to take target practice with it and don't forget the Tuscan Raider as well as the pilot so there you go thanks for watching make sure to put a comment down below tell me your thoughts um, check out my other videos I'm gonna put a link down below to all of my other Lego Star Wars videos so if you want to check any more of those out there'll be a link right down below that you can click on so go ahead and do that and uh yeah hope you enjoy it so there we go there it is so thanks again and we will see you in the next one